Hey guys, today I'm working with a Kenmore 800 series matching washer and electric dryer set. Right now I've got it filling up pretty heavy jeans and towel load. So it's going to fill all the way up. We're going to allow it to move through its cycle. I'll show you that it agitates, obviously fills up with water, agitates, drains the water out, and then has a nice smooth and fast spin cycle. Kind of as if you were standing here yourself trying it out before you buy it. I like to know that what I'm buying works when I get it home, plug it in, everything's going to work good. Now the washer gets a 28 point inspection, the dryer gets a 22 point inspection. Everything electrical, mechanical, it all gets checked and everything has to work perfectly before it leaves my care or even gets listed up for sale. So we'll allow it to kind of move through its cycle here and we'll come back and check in on it. Alright, now we've moved into the agitation cycle. If I lift this up. It's going to stop, but you can see it's doing a real good job agitating. And so how this works, essentially, this uh, agitator can move freely in one direction, then not back the other direction. It's also spring-loaded, too. It's kind of a newer design, and it works really well. But essentially, you can move it clockwise freely, spins freely, and then it locks back the other position. And what that allows it to do is it agitates and sucks those clothes in along these propellers and the propeller, propellers on the bottom plate as well. And that's what actually gets your clothes clean is that agitation process. Now, if you can reach in your washer and spin this freely in both directions, then this is not working. It's actually broken. So something good to check, I always point that out. Sometimes your clothes aren't getting clean and people have no idea. But if you kind of listen, you can hear what I call the agitation kick. And if you can hear that, it's pretty quiet but you want to hear that on a top load washing machine. If you don't, your clothes aren't getting clean. So good tip. We'll come back for the draining and the final spin. All right, we're moving into the final spin. You can hear it draining all that water out nice and fast. For the sake of time, I'll go ahead and pause it and let it get up to full speed on the spin cycle and we'll come back. All right, and we are up to full speed on that spin cycle. As you can see, it's nice, smooth operation. It's so getting up, moving pretty fast. I'm gonna lift this lid up here. Now it's gonna stop it because of that lid switch, the safety switch. But you'll be able to see it's spinning nice and fast. Shuts down like it's supposed to. And kicks right back in. I'm gonna let that finish up. We'll move the clothes over to the dryer and show you that the dryer works and heats like it's supposed to. All right, now I've got those clothes moved over to the dryer. You see, tons of options on this guy here. And both of these are king size capacity, if I didn't mention it. So the largest capacity you can get in this series. And I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. Open. I've got my heat sensor here right in between those two red dots. It's going to take its surface temperature measurement. So we'll open this up. Right inside the heating element tube there, you can see plenty of heat coming out of that tube. And then the inside of your dryer is going to get anywhere from about 95 up to 195, and that depends on what you have your heat setting at, and then also what you set your main timer on, because you've got tons of auto options up here as well. So for now, we'll just go time dry, high heat, and go. And as you saw there, it's tumbling nice and fast, and everything's smooth and sounds great. That's going to be it for these guys. We'll go ahead and get them listed up for sale. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thanks and have a great day.